All right, I'm getting ready to cut up my plates for the next cell. This uh, scrap metal from the I got from the scrap yard. Unknown non-magnetic stainless steel. It's brushed on one side, mirror on the other. I want to do some experiments with uh, to see if having a brushed surface or a textured surface on one side makes a difference. Uh, I also have some other ideas we're going to work on here. The material is 19 by just over 27. So D3 suggested that uh, you should not make your plates bigger than 8 by 8 because they don't conduct, stainless does not conduct electricity very well and anything over 8 inches you start to get voltage differences which is bad. And I'm going to go against that advice a little bit because I'm cheap. I'm going to cut these plates to be 9 by 9 and a half. Now the way D3 explained it to me you have your plate here. It's a little bit wet. But anyway, if you have your positive contact right here, then that voltage dissipates the farther out it goes. So there's so much resistance in the stainless, you have higher voltage here, lower voltage here. So you want to have uniform voltage all the way across the plate. Now, another thing, so anyway, to get around that, I'm going to put positives on all four corners of my new plates. And when I do the negatives, different plates, I'll have the negatives in the middle. That way the voltage has to travel farther through the plates. Um, it seems to me though by the time you go through a negative plate, they have your positive voltage, it's going to go through the negative plate and be, it get more and more uniform every time it goes through a plate. Uh, but still, you want it to have it as uniform as possible. So to that end, I'm going to put positives on each corner, negatives in the middles. Uh, this cell is going to be pretty small, so there's going to be one positive plate and one negative plate with five neutrals. Now the other thing I noticed from watching other people's videos, somebody was taking apart an EBN cell. So they had their holes at the top, the hole at the bottom. They took them apart and there was a definite line about right here where the electrolyte stopped and you had bubbles up here. This whole top is full of bubbles. So I think that um, having the top full of bubbles like that prevents voltage leakage through these holes because the bubbles sort of insulate. Now uh, you're going to get leakage down here. I'm going to eliminate the bottom hole. And instead of using three holes in the top, I'm going to plasma cut a nice triangle here. Above that triangle, there's going to be a fill hole not so close to the edge, be about an inch from the edge. And then the gaskets will be cut to come down here like so. Like that. That's what I'm shooting for. So the first step is to cut the plates. I'm going to cut these out into 9 by 9 um, I'm going to turn off the video, cut a few, and we'll get back. I had some time to think while I was cutting up the plates. I cut up five neutrals, positive and negative, and one extra. First thing that happened was that the my tin snips were getting dull and the edges of the plates curved quite a bit. I don't know if you can see it. Now, so I had to cut off. On one side of the cut it was fairly straight, the other side it was really, really wavy and ragged. So instead of making them nine, nine by nine and a half, I made them nine by nine. So there's a little bit of waste in the middle. So I cut them so that the, this part was good, and then this part was wavy, and then I turned it around and cut the wavy part off for the other one to get the, uh, the really defective stainless to minimize the curve so there's less work with the hammer. I'm still going to have to work with the hammer and anvil to get that straightened up. It's real important to have these as flat as possible. You can see that one's got a curve in it. Uh, you want that distance between the plates to be as uniform as possible. This is according to D3, uh, because if it's not uniform, the electricity will flow through the electrolyte and more on the close side and uh, more on the close side and less on the distant side. So anyway, you've got to have it really close. It's got to be flat. So anyway, that's the, they ended up nine by nine. The other thing, I'm rethinking my holes. I was going to do away with the bottom hole. Uh, and this, instead of having a round hole in the top or three round holes in the top, I was going to make a triangle 
The reason I was going to do that is because I could cut, drill an eighth inch hole here and then plasma cut it out with a pattern. Um, plasma, tends, plasma cutting tends to warp the plates a little bit, but I can straighten that out. The reason I've decided to do away with the triangle is because uh, this edge right here is bigger. And if the electrolyte fills up to that edge, it can arc across and get voltage leakage in the bigger area. So if I have a single hole at the top, like this, I'm going to put a single hole in the half in the top. Hopefully this will fill up with bubbles here, and I won't get any leakage. That's why this is down farther. The gasket comes down like this. It doesn't exactly channel the gas. Uh, the gas is going to come out one way or the other, but it makes this air pocket concentrate around this hole to prevent voltage leakage. Now, I decided to do away with the, I was going to have a fill hole here. This is where the electrolyte was going to come in. I was going to have little slits in the gasket so it could seep in. I thought, well, the problem is it's not going to replenish because you're going to have, this is going to fill up with gas and you're going to have, the gas is going to create pressure. It's going to go, want to go, it's going to want to go out. It's going to go out this hole and it's going to want to go just back out the, uh, the fill hole. It, it, the electrolyte is not going to replenish like it should. So I had this idea quite a while ago. Uh, I was inspired by an um, ardent scientist. He, had, he dipped the corners of his plates in um, plastic dip that you put on tool handles. Uh, but it, that doesn't hold up. But it did, in his early tests, he got a really good MMW. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to draw a little hole in each plate, and the other plate will be on the other side. And I'm going to have a double gasket. This bottom gasket will be PVC, and then the top gasket actually will come out to the corner like that. This will be that um, fish pond liner that I have that's electrically conductive. Now in the past I had to put a layer of PVC in there to keep it from conducting plate to plate. But this will work out great because you'll have, basically when you have a hole on the top, the, the other plate will have a hole right here. And when the, when the electrolyte flows through, the current will not have a direct path to another plate. It'll have to you know, flow through the electrolyte to come over to here. So that will insulate that a little bit. So the electrolyte will come through a hole. It'll see this plastic here first, and then it'll have to come around over here to this hole. And that'll be reversed. Once again, there'll be another plastic uh, gasket material on the other side of that. And hopefully that will cut down on the current loss on the bottom. Um, if the current my theory is that the stronger the electrolyte is, the more voltage leakage you can have at the bottom because the uh, current will travel through the electrolyte. A lot of people disagree with that, but um, on stainless, on any kind of metal, you have uh, basically an electron, electron cloud on the surface, and that's where most of the current travels through. Some of it goes through the protons, the current, current theory is. But most of that current is going to travel through this electron cloud and uh, it's going to go to the edge, come around the edge, and come back to the other side. Uh, not a whole lot of it goes straight through. Um, so anyway, that's what I'm thinking. So this is only going to be one positive, one negative, five neutrals, so it's an experiment. Maybe it'll, maybe it'll work, maybe it won't. We'll see what kind of MMW I get. All right, so I've laid out my pattern. Um, I just beveled this enough just to make it so that you have a nice area right here for gas to collect that will insulate this hole. This is going to be a half inch hole. Way down here in the corner is going to be an eighth of inch hole. I'll drill opposite. Every other plate will be opposite. Once again, there will be a second gasket under there to insulate that hole. Now I've got a, I'll drill an eighth inch hole here and an eighth inch hole there, use that as a template, then I'll drill the rest of them. And then I'll come back and drill all of these out to half inch.